hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with an another interesting tutorial so in this tutorial uh, we are going to see how to build a node.js app with uh, mongodb a database on the back end where we'll be writing some content from the web app and that will be stored in the mongodb and we'll also have a nginx reverse proxy on friend as a front end and uh, we will see uh, how to run this uh, application as a docker container so if you have seen my previous tutorial, we have done a Node.js app with nginx reverse proxy as a frontend, but uh, not with MongoDB as a database. So there has been a lot of uh, uh, requests uh, to me, like, you know, how to do uh, this setup using, you know, even in a case where there is a MongoDB uh, database in that application. So that's the reason I'm going to do this. So we'll see in this uh, video, like the complete procedure for dockerizing this web app, Node.js web app. Uh, which having the mongodb database okay and we'll have the nginx as a reverse proxy in front of the node.js app and we'll do all the complete setup in the as in the docker okay you can do it uh, as a normal uh, setup but I, i'm going to show it is in the docker in this tutorial so what we will have it we'll have a node.js uh, express.js app which will be running mm -hmm. on docker we'll also have a mongodb which will be running on on docker as well and uh, you know, the Node.js app uh, will be uh, connecting to MongoDB and uh, you can write some content and so that will be stored in the database. So then we'll have a uh, nginx uh, which will be also running as a docker container and that will be acting as a front end so whenever a user uh, from internet or somebody try to access they will connect to the nginx and that will go and contact the Node.js app and that uh, uh, output will be returned to the uh, end user. So for the end users, you uh, know what they will see is the nginx IP address and the port number. Okay, so since it will be port 80, so it will be the just like a normal IP address. But since in our tutorial, since both the nginx container and the Node.js container is running on the same IP, it will be the same IP address. But you can uh, in, a, uh, in the actual uh, scenarios, you can have two different IPs, so people will see a different IP address but actually the backend uh, application will be running on a different IP address okay so uh, to give a little bit more detail on how we can dockerize it uh, this node.js express mongodb app with the nginx reverse proxy and we are going to use docker compose for uh, this tutorial so we can do it separately manually you can create containers one by one and uh, you can create the same setup but uh, I would like to do it in docker compose which is uh, pretty you know easiest way and uh, better way to do it so what we'll do is we will write a docker compose file where we'll have this services for node.js mongodb and nginx which will create uh, all these uh, containers okay and uh, we what we will also have it we'll have uh, docker files for uh, node.js uh, app also for mongo db we don't need to have a docker file because we will use the standard image from uh, docker hub in general also we have to write a docker file to make some configuration changes and using those docker compose uh, docker files we will uh, write the docker compose so once we uh, run the docker compose up we will have the docker uh, containers uh, created first it will create docker image for it then from there it will create docker containers so you'll have the containers running for node.js mongodb and nginx and we'll have our application running so before i get into the actual uh, hands-on where i'll be doing all these things and i'll show you uh, all docker file and everything i have a request like if you have not subscribed to my channel or new to my channel click on the subscribe button and also like my video share and comment so let's get started on the actual uh, project so uh, i'm using this node.js uh, app which i have uh, used uh, for this project i will share the github location as well so if you see this project you know we have a uh, express we are using mongoose and we are also having view engine as ejs and you can see the mongoose you are connecting to mongodb so one thing you have to uh, make sure that you here if you see the name is mongo this should be the name of the container for the mongodb if you use a different name then uh, this uh, database will not be connected because uh, here you have defined like your mongo uh, colon 27107 which is the port number for 
database so uh, unless you set this correctly if you want to create give a different name edit this file set a different name at the same time you have to change this name in the docker container as well for the mongodb which will be defining in the docker compose file okay and what we are doing is uh, you know it's a simple uh, project where we are trying to uh, get some uh, views so let's see what we have it here so if you see this is a action what we are doing so we are trying to get some uh, details and that will be saved into the uh, 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 mongodb okay so if you see this model this is the mongo's schema so i'm not going to talk more about how the node.js app works because this tutorial is more about how to run the application uh, you know uh, in the docker container so you know if you don't know how to set up the then you'll have to check on how the on the node.js uh, uh, express.js tutorial so how to write the code for it and you also will have a uh, you know package.json where you'll have the dependencies like a ejs express mongoose which will be uh, needed for the application to run okay so uh, that's the overall application what we have it here and uh, what uh, we also have it like uh, you know we have a docker ignore we have added so that you know when we create the docker image these node modules or debug logs should not be copied okay and um, these files i have kept it in this github sure but you know these all are not required in the same uh, folder uh, this uh, will be the docker file for node.js so what we are trying to do is uh, we are going to use uh, node uh, image and the working directory is app and we are going to copy the package.json file and we are going to install uh, using the npm install so it will install all the uh, applications which is needed for uh, node.js app to run and we are going to copy these contents like index.js we use models and everything to this location and we are going to expose the port 3000 so this also you have to be very clear which port you are uh, uh you know exposing which you need to use it in the uh, docker compose file and uh, you know you're going to call the index.js sometimes we use app.js so depending upon that you have not, you have to change this so this will be for the uh, node uh, docker file and if you go for the nginx what we are trying to do is we are going to uh, copy a default.conf to this location so what we have defined in the default.conf is uh, this one now here if you see what uh, the proxy by uh, pass we are defining node.js server and the port 3000 right see this node.js server name should be matching with the uh, name of your node.js container or docker uh, container which we'll be creating from docker compose so now let's go to the docker compose file now the docker compose file will have uh, three services one for the node.js app one for mongo and one for nginx so in the previous tutorials, we would have seen two services like Node.js and NGINX, not with uh, Mongo. Now, if you see this name of uh, the container and the host name we have given as Node.js server, this is what we have defined in the uh, default.conf. Okay, and this port number 3000, as we mentioned, the index.js, uh, we have uh, using the constant port 3000, which will be uh, used here as well. And uh, that's the same thing which we are exposing in the uh, uh, Docker file for Node.js as well. Now, if you see this uh, depends on uh, what we are going to set is this Node.js app depends on the Mongo DB. So we are going to use Mongo. And as I told, the name of uh, the container should be Mongo. Okay, because this uh, name is what we have used in the application to connect. If you go to the index.js, we have something called Mongo. Uh, here so that's the same name which we have to give, give for this container as well so and i'm also setting some uh, volume so that you know db data can be stored in this volume and the port is 27017 okay and all these uh, containers should be on the same network and uh, the last one is the nginx again we are going to build the nginx from the uh, in docker file uh, which is stored in the Do uh, nginx folder so this uh, location is the place where uh, the docker file is saved the same as for node.js app because i have uh, i will be creating separate folder for each uh, one one for node.js one for nginx so that's why the reason it's like this okay so if you have a different form of setup you have to change the location here as well and the container is uh, nginx uh, and the image is also 
which we have set in the docker file and uh, here again if the nginx file is depends on the node.js app so uh, again all these uh, services are running on or containers are on the same network so that's all uh, here for this so if you see the changes like we are using a mongo image here which is connecting to the uh, to uh, to the uh, node.js app so if you see it depends upon mongo and this uh, connection is uh, completely defined on the index.js file in the node.js application now let's see how we can uh, uh, create or uh, run this docker compose app so uh, all these things are i cloned it to this uh, docker machine so if i see like you know i have a uh, two folder ones for uh, node uh, docker app and if you go there you can see all this file docker file index.js models package.json views and everything for the node.js application if you read the docker file you can see what we have set it in uh, here as well let me go back and uh, i have uh, the nginx so let me go back to the uh, nginx and if you see there are only two files one is for the default.conf and the other one is the docker file so if i read the docker file if you see we are just copying the default.conf into this location now if you let me go back and uh, if, let me read the docker compose file if you see this is the same thing which we have shown you in the um, sublime text editor so this is uh, a whole thing which is uh, defined in the sublime text i just copied it here okay now let's do one thing let's me uh, start the docker compose up and uh, i'm not going to do this in detached mode so you can see what is happening here that's why i did not run the detached mode otherwise it will not be showing up so now if you see this um, going on uh, quickly because the all the docker images are already uh, available now if you see what uh, status we have you can see created mongo and uh, node.js server is also created right and uh, gnx is also created and what do we have the logs here let's see you can see the node.js server is running so that's the log here and mongodb is connected as well now let uh, let me go to the browser and let me try to open the web page now if you go to the browser with the ip address and port 3000 uh, the node.js app opens up so this what is happening is we are bypassing the nginx we are directly accessing the node.js apps because we know the uh, ip address and the port number which we have defined in the application but in the node.js uh, we are having a friend and proxy uh, for uh, nginx so now here if you see without the IP, uh, port number 3000 which is actually like uh, uh, port 80 so um, what we have set it in the nginx right so this one also is actually routing to the um, uh, node.js app right so for an end user what we are going to give is we are going to give this ip address with uh, not the backend application ip address so they will be also still able to access the application uh, but you know they don't have to know what is in the backend IP address of the node.js app now if you see this is the app we have uh, something uh, here for name uh, column and we can add some entries here now let me uh, click on add now you can see the items are added here and at the same time if I go to the uh, docker let me open a new session so let me this is a uh, separate session of the same uh, node.js uh, or docker node so let me go to the node uh, mongo app okay folder and now if you see uh, there is a new folder called data is created which is the uh, persist, uh, persistent volume which we have set in the docker compose so let me go back go into the folder now you can see there are contents getting uh, written here right because uh, whenever we create uh, some entries uh, here it gets uh, written over there so let me try to give some uh, entries like job one so whenever we try to enter something it will get added over here so you can see there will be some changes 
so it will add up you know more entries over here okay so that's why you know the persistent volume we have set so even though if there is something happens the volume will have all the database content so that's what uh, happening actually the contents what we are writing is uh, going into the database in the mongodb so this is a simple app so but in your uh, app you know you can have more complicated things uh, which is uh, in the mongo database where you have a different kind of schema and where data is getting uh, stored and you are also pulling the data into the web page but the concept is same you can have to create a container for that you have to attach it to your node.js app maybe you don't need a nginx so you can remove the nginx you can run it directly without nginx as well so to so just to recap this is the docker compose file so you have uh, three services one for node.js one for mongo and nginx so we are using the docker file to build this uh, containers so the name should be node.js server which is uh, set in the default.conf and this depends on mongo and mongo we are using the image directly from the docker hub and we have a persistent volume and uh, for nginx again we are using the docker file which is in the nginx folder and uh, it also depends upon the node.js app so to go to this app uh, as i told uh, what we need to look is what the name we have given for the mongo uh, database so that has to be set properly in the docker compose file right and uh, what do we have it uh, this is the node.js docker file this is the uh, nginx docker file we have a default.conf so that's all uh, for this uh, i will share you know the github location for this uh, all this uh, uh, documentation what you require so you can uh, go and have a look into the github location where you can use the docker file docker compose and everything have a look there so i will link that into this video description and also you can refer uh, my previous tutorial on node.js uh, app in docker uh, running on docker which will be also helpful for you i'll link those as well in the video tutorial so that is all for this video i hope uh, this is an informative tutorial for you so click on the subscribe button for uh, more videos and uh, keep uh, supporting uh, by clicking liking the video sharing and uh, 